All right, so we just want to show you guys the, the complication that, that comes with having to guard the old city of Jerusalem, which is right behind me here. You can see the wall. You can see this is, this is thousands of years old. Some amazing history back here. But you also have the holiest sites for three major religions. You have Christianity. You have Judaism. You have Islam. And at a time like this, it's very, very tense. Let's go check it out. This is still Jerusalem. This is outside the old city to the east, yeah. um, but it's still Jerusalem, so it's still Israel, but it's, a, it's an Arab majority town yeah. that has about 100 Israeli families living inside of it. Um, tell us about, you know, what kind of situations arise here. So every place you go, you throw a coin and it's got some history to it. Right. Uh, so the name of the neighborhood is called Silwan, Silwan. and the Jews call it Kval Shiloh. The Israeli families actually mark their homes with, yeah. with, with stars. So the families that live here have a lot of pride in being Jewish and a lot of pride in being Israeli. So yeah. you'll see many times on their buildings, they'll put a big Star of David or they'll put an Israeli flag. Yeah. But this is also a problem because it marks them. Yeah. And many times there's border police that actually have to sit inside of these houses with them or do drive throughs inside of these neighborhoods because they're a target. You yeah. have Arabs who are throwing Molotov cocktails at them. You have um, the children who go to and from school have to be picked up actually by vans that have gates on the glass. Right. It's not even glass, it's plastic, plastic because they try to throw rocks at the windows and we don't want it shattering on kids. Yeah. You see many of the times the vans when they come up, they have paint splattered all over them because they try to block the windshield. And the police enforce this, of course. We're there and we do our best to maintain order and to also arrest those who are doing this. But at the end of the day, a lot of times we find that it's children doing it. Yeah. You know, 12-year-olds, 14-year-olds. Yeah. Yeah. And then it becomes an issue of social work. It becomes an issue of education yeah. and what they're growing up on. We see a lot of it's caused from propaganda, social media, TikTok, uh, platforms like this that are inciting them to hate. Right. instead of join together. You said we're in the Arab quarter, right? This is like the real melting pot, you know, yeah. kind of the old city. What kinds of threats do you see in, in these areas? It can vary, it can you vary. know, because yeah. when you're talking about different cultures that are living right on top of each other, yeah. it can be um, disputes over property, it could yeah. be disputes over different cultural things, yeah. or it can be on the whole different side of the spectrum, which right. is terror, right. which unfortunately is something that we deal with on a daily basis. Yeah. And the terror can come from anywhere can come at any time. You need to be vigilant. You need to be aware of your surroundings 100% of the time. Yeah. And, you know, right now it can be completely calm or, you know, it's the middle of the day. You yeah. can see the traffic is not at the, the highest peak, yeah. but it doesn't mean that a terror can't attack yeah. right now. Somebody walk right past us, which is why we yeah. take different steps for that. We have yeah. surveillance that's, you know, people were sitting on cameras monitoring just about every foot of the old yeah. city. So that way when Jews and Christians and Muslims are walking right past each other, right. we have an eye on everybody and make sure we can maintain order. When you hear from the out of the West the last several months, you know, we, we've heard, I'd say the craziest people in, in Western society and in the yeah. United States, the comments that they've made about how, you know, your people should all be forced to just leave here. It must be very hard to have to be criticized, you know, when, when you've had to show, when you've had to kind of play the role of the bigger man for all these years. It's, uh, it's difficult because yeah. at the end of the day, these people have no idea what they're talking about. Right. Because me and you are standing here, yeah. the Arab shop owners, well, this is their business. Me and them are on first name basis. We say hello to each other. Right. The street signs have Arabic, English and Hebrew on them. Right. We're, we're so integrated in our society, but there's people abroad who have the slightest right. idea of what's actually happening on the ground. They're yeah. passing judgment, telling us what we need to do. Right. One, we have independence of this land. The majority of the time, yeah. we live amongst each other with zero issues, right. with zero problems. Inside of our police force, we have Muslims, we have Christians and Jews. We have Ethiopians, we have people from abroad from America even. Yeah. We're a melting pot of a country. I want to say even maybe the only one in the entire Middle East region right here, right. where you know we have such a strong democracy.